Hey guys, today we're riding the new Bigode M10 IV. This has a 1000 watt motor now and a 750 watt hour, 84 volt battery. It's rated to go about 15 miles on a full charge. It has an 11 inch all-terrain tire. Its top speed is around 25 miles per hour. It has a LED display, very nice bright light, grab handle, and it weighs under 29 pounds. This is kind of the perfect runabout in town electric unicycle. If you just need to grab something that's lightweight, easy to ride, and just go, this is a really fun wheel that's affordably priced, has pretty good specs and capabilities, and I think it just looks super awesome. It's like a little blue hiking boot underneath you. Let's go take this for a ride today. We'll talk about what it's been like to live with the last month. I'll admit I haven't put a ton of miles on it because it's freezing outside. It's kind of the middle of winter here in Michigan, but I have done a few random errands and it has been a fantastic in-town wheel. Uh, not a lot of range, of course, but what limitations it has because of its size are also advantages because it's so small, lightweight, and I think really fun to ride. All right, so let's set off here. We have a lot of great initial acceleration from this wheel, tons of torque, as we see in a lot of Bigode products. It's a pretty comfortable cruising speed, about 18, 20 miles per hour. I have a set of Clark pads on this wheel, just for a little bit extra stability. You do have to get used to riding this underneath you just because it is so lightweight and a lot of the other wheels that we have these days are so heavy. And it's surprisingly stable at speed. We have this wider off-road tire with really nice chunky tread. Braking performance is excellent. We'll dip into a little bit of a dirt road here. See what it's like on gravel. Should have pretty good traction. Once you kind of get your feet underneath you and figure out what this is like to ride, it's about as easy as any other wheel out there. Big improvement over the uh, previous generation M10 III in terms of just stability. Spent a little bit of time on that wheel. I think the weak link here is still the axle. You don't want to be taking this off big jumps, even though it is tempting. You can hear that tread growl underneath you. <laughs> The thing about this wheel is it's just so much fun to ride. The nimbleness, the agility here is really very unique to something this size. You can just turn on a dime. I mean, it's just you can just do zero point turns here. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not the best rider at uh, going backwards or stopping or balancing. My thing is more off-road and all-terrain stuff, but acceleration here is really addictive <laughs> braking performance is really good too we'll put a lock up there that's nice you can over lean this I have gotten a couple dips under hard acceleration but you have to try I think with all the big, heavy suspension, massive battery, long range wheels we've been seeing in the last couple years, it's easy to lose sight of just how nice a simple lightweight electric unicycle is. Pedal clearance is pretty good. You can scrape pedals a little bit on uh, tight turns, but again, it's a bit of a challenge. fun to make just little obstacle courses here and if I crash I have an ambulance right in front of me and I'll take care of things <laughs> once you get your legs under you you really do have a lot of control with a wheel like this I think that wider tire helps quite a bit you can slalom with it pretty easily you do bail. <laughs> it's not that difficult to keep under you. Uh, 
Oh, this is fantastic. Finally, we had a nice day to film too. Even the stiffness over bumps isn't terrible. I weigh about 150 pounds. I have my tire pressure set to 20 PSI, and that feels really nice and comfortable. Plenty of meat on the tire, so to avoid any rim damage. For an, only an 11 inch wheel, this is very, very comfortable considering. Sure someday we'll see a suspension iteration of something like this but until then oh man this is great let's take it off a curb yeah super precise accurate good off-road traction too with these treads let's see how it fares on some grass here Because it's so lightweight, you can really kind of soak up the bumps with your legs. You get a little bit of wobble on braking sometimes. So you have to be careful there. I've noticed that these, uh, these lean pads definitely help with wheel stability. Just look at how fast you can change direction. That's awesome. <laughs> Really easy to carve corners. Once you kind of relearn the dynamics of a lighter wheel like this, it just becomes second nature, just like anything else. I think the most addictive part is just the quick acceleration. Because the tire is so small, it can really there's more torque that the wheel can put down and that lower effective gear ratio really makes for great acceleration and braking performance. Is it the best over rough pavement? No, not really. Is it the best high speed wheel? Definitely not. There are some compromises to be made, but they're not as bad as you think they might be. All right, guys. Well, there is my review and just a short video on the Bigode M104. Definitely the most amount of time that I've spent with a wheel like this, but, uh, yeah, lovely little thing, really fun, affordably priced, I think, for what you get. I mean, this level of uh, range, power, tech in a wheel like this wasn't possible a few years ago. And it's got some nice features. It's got a brake light. You've got this, uh, these little stoppers here where you can set it down. So you turn the wheel off and it can just rest right there. Does a pretty good job at it too. Headlights super bright. Look at the chunkiness of this tire. There's a lot of room there for error. Pedals look good too. And you've got this little LED screen readout that tells you your battery charge level, speed, mileage. And it looks like you can pretty easily put a, an array of different pads on this. Just throw some Velcro on there, stick the other side on, 
and adjust it as necessary. Little handle too, no cutoff switch, but you can just turn the wheel off very easily. The light has a few different modes. There's kind of a blue uh, running light, so to speak. And then there's flashing. So usually they just leave the headlight on. Also a big shout out to yuko.us for sending this wheel out and allowing me to test it for you guys this week. They've been a great supporter of the channel and an awesome company to work with in testing a lot of the latest electric unicycles that are coming out. We've got some more fun ones coming for you later in February, so stay tuned for that. But until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.